2019-2020, the motto of unfinished business for Ohio women's basketball, and our season preview starts with Bob Bolden. My name's Jake Cremata. Coach, it's your seventh year. We'll get into that momentarily, but uh, speaking of unfinished business, I have unfinished business with you. And what is that, Jake? After the Fun Barn last year, you got me in air hockey, you got me in mini bowling. I don't even think I won anything at the Fun Barn last year, so we're, this is my yard. We're, I'm taking you to NBA 2K, 2K20. We've already got our team set up and everything, so this is, un this is my unfinished business, okay? This means a lot to me, so. I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck. So you chose the 89-90 uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, I chose the 06 07 Cleveland Cavaliers. Obviously, Cleveland ties, that's fine. But I have LeBron James. You do, and that seems like an advantage, but I think you've underestimated the, the I don't know what to say. You don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You're Your team is better. Because I have LeBron James. So we'll see who's the better player. We'll see who's the better player after this. I, Best I wish, of luck. I wish you luck. Game ready. Let's do it. Here you go. Yes, sir. All right. Let's get the spread. All right. I have me by at least 40. You know how to play? Uh, uh, square shoots. Square shoots. That's all I I'm doing, buddy. That's all we need to know. Yep. Think, all right. Well, I won I, the tip. I didn't jump. I, right. you, I took a charge, though, early. Coach for unfinished business, that's the team's motto this year. Why do you think that's a perfect fit for this team in this upcoming year? Well, I mean, we have, we're fortunate to have a lot of kids back, right? And, and I think we had a wonderful year last year, but I think as the year went on, we felt like we could have done better. And we, we came up a little bit short in a couple areas. And, um, you know, I think that we're just, we're just, this team could attain more. And that is our goal is to try to get there is to attain more. What is that? That is a foul. Why? No, that's that not is a foul. a foul. That was not a foul. It's a foul. It, it was a foul. Look, he twits your arms. <laughs> so, <clears throat> in regards to that, you have so many returners, and how does that benefit the team moving forward, especially this year? Well, it's just it's a little bit easier to get to stuff because you have uh, you know you have such a such a amount of talent back but you have a great minds back and, and you're able to move through things a little bit quicker um, and uh, you know that just helps you put more stuff in and and speeds up the learning curve you know puts pressure on your young kids to come in and perform because that learning curve gets sped up with so many returners and I'll ask you really quick what was your favorite memory about these 89 90 teams um, back in the day. well I don't know that I guess my my favorite memory is a bad memory is just the, their inability to beat the beat the Bulls and beat Jordan's Bulls and it was just frustrating watching them have the success that they had. I just want you to watch this again. Sorry to interrupt. Just That's cute. Thanks. Okay, you can you can go back uh, to <laughs> I want you to take a look at this. <laughs> no, you missed it though. You did not miss no, it. You do you do basketball <laughs> or is it volleyball season this, still? This, Where this are we at? This is this is why we're playing video games. Okay. This is exactly why. Look at this. I thought I had that. So you mentioned a little bit about the newcomers. You have a lot of them, but it seems like, but a couple of them are redshirts too that we'll finally see play. Um, what are you most excited about seeing them on the floor this year? Um, I think they bring a lot of energy and, and they're just a little bit different um, and, and bring some versatility to our program. You know, um, getting Maddie the way we did was, uh, was huge. And, her ability to play a number of different positions and, and just the intensity that she brings to the game is going to be very helpful. And you know, Ella Pope obviously has a ton of length and a ton of skill, and, and she's been she's been doing a great job so far. And I think finally Peyton Geis is a kid that comes in with with a high motor kid, a high intelligence kid, um, and can really can really play at a fast pace. I'm getting so many offensive rebounds right now. Well, my guy was recently standing out of bounds, which I find that to be an odd way to play. And not very productive. <laughs> we're not very good at offense. I don't think we're. I don't think we're doing pretty good at this. Well, what do you mean? Am I winning? I don't know. Well, if you keep shooting those shots, you're not going to win. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> I keep outletting it to my center. Oh, there's Mark Price. Buckets. Buckets. Let's yeah, see. that's all day. All right, whatever. That's all day, young buck. We have a combined nine points in this game. Yeah, but I have more than you. That's, that's and that's matters. all that really, that's truly matters. matters. That's what we needed. Fiddle six. That's what we needed. This There's is exact, Big Z on the breakaway. Is, this is what we need, baby. <laughs> Let's look yeah. at this again. Let's look at this again. This is vintage Bob Bolden offense against yeah, this, Bob We do this a lot. We throw it ahead and dunk quite a bit. Yeah. I think we led the league in dunks last year. <laughs> 
So quick timeout, I guess uh, we'll get to another question here. Um, with the team that won uh, 30 wins, how do you keep them humble? Especially, I mean, you well, I think wins this, in a season. Yeah, I think the, the unfinished business part of it really speaks to that. You know, that's something that they thought about and they came up with. And, um, you know, something that was important to them. And, uh, you know, I think we know we did, we did some really good things. I mean, last year's team was really good. Uh, but we also know that we got to get better. And uh, I think they're ready to do that. And we've had a good summer. Um, you know, fall practices are off to a good start. And, and I'm excited to, to see where this takes us. What's your, uh, what's your assessment right now of your offense? Um, I think we're probably further along than we have been at this point <coughs> in a normal season. Um, I, meant, I meant your offense on the oh, game. Oh, this offense. Yeah, this offense. This offense is poor. Um, <laughs> Our inability to make easy shots, not not taking real good shots, right? We should we got to move the ball a little bit better, and uh, I'm optimistic we'll get it figured out. I heard that we're having a halftime snack, which I think yeah, mom's making pizza rolls. Yeah, I think I'll be better. Yes. Oh no, I left them wide open. I think I'll be better after I get the Totino's pizza <laughs> rolls. Mom is making pizza rolls. I appreciate that. Yeah, anytime. So I know last year with so many returners coming, will anything change? I know that's kind of. Yeah, why you gotta follow me like I that? I mean, I think uh, uh, that's good defense. Put Verjao on the line. Now we don't have to play against your half-court offense. Um, good foul. Good foul. <laughs> um, Just wait till I take a charge. I mean, we we pretty much are who we are. I think we we have a system, and we try to coach to that system. And our kids have bought into that system. Um, so I don't think we change a whole lot. Um, I think we probably tweak some things and. Oh, I don't know how to jump, so this jump ball is bad for me. <laughs> how do I jump? I'm not going to tell you. No, don't tell them. Anybody know how to jump? Don't tell them how to jump. Anybody? Nobody no. knows don't how, tell to, them jump. how to jump. No, that, that's, okay. that's, you know, it's triangle. Mom! It's triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Jake, stop uh, playing fair. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we're pretty much are who we are, right? We're going to work and, and try to really share the basketball and take good shots. and. Um, you know, see where that takes us. So with scheduling, I'm, yes. sure, I'm sure scheduling was tough. Nobody wants to play a 30-win team. Um, what was the, the mindset for you and your staff? Uh, well, I that? think like Tavares handles that, and he just does an amazing job. He's, he's a relentless worker, and I thought he does a, he does a really good job of not settling and, and just, you know, we, we sit down and come up with a plan of what we need, and, um, and he works hard to get that done, and it's not easy. It's not, we don't get to pick up the phone and people say, yeah, we'd love to play at your place. we got to work, and, and he does that, develop relationships and things of that sort. Um, you know, I think opening up at Syracuse is a, is a tall order, but it's, it's something that this team is, I don't know, I want to say ready for, but it's certainly a challenge that they're, they're looking forward to. Um, you know, then we're able to put a couple other power fives on the, on the schedule, and, and that's what... I guess that's what the committee told us last year was that, yeah, you won a lot of games, but you didn't beat good enough teams, which, so then you got to try to play better teams. And I, and I thought, I thought we did that. I thought we played a very competitive schedule last year. Um, I think it's probably a little bit more competitive this year. And, um, you know, that's what our job is as coaches is to give our kids a chance to uh, play in those games and win those games. So you got to play them to win them. And I don't know if we'll win any of them, but we're going to try and see where that takes us. Anybody in particular you're excited to play? Well, I mean, I think right now we're thinking about playing Syracuse because that's our first game. And I think that's, that's, that's all we think about is who, who do we play next? And, and right now, you know, you, there'll be people that'll be excited about the Ohio State game on the schedule, the trip to Texas or whatever it might be. But for us, it's really about the next game, which is, which is Syracuse at this point, and trying to get ourselves in position to beat a very good Syracuse team. Like you can't, you can't beat them if you're thinking about playing uh, in Texas in December or at Ohio State or whatever it might be, or you know, uh, our first home game with American. Like you can't, you can't win that game thinking about those games. So we're going to focus on them and, and try to prepare ourselves to beat them as best we can. So how much of a gamer are you? I guess I probably should have asked. I mean, do you at any point in your time play video games? Um, I have uh, never in my life played a PlayStation yeah. or an Xbox. Um, 
I had uh, my my neighbor friend had uh, the Nintendo thing, the, mm -hmm. the Tecmo game. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of that. That was Tecmo. Back, yeah. Did he call it Tecmo? Tecmo Bowl, I think it was, and um, I I hated that game because he always wanted to play it and he wouldn't come outside and play with me. I see. So one of the things that <coughs> you've learned in dealing with coaches is that when we don't get our way, we just get very upset and complain about it. Makes total sense. So he would play that, and I didn't like it because he wouldn't come play with me. Mm -hmm. So ever since then, I really never played any video games whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, not that it's showing right now. I think with the way the nine points that I've scored have been spectacular. Mm -hmm. And I just threw an 84-foot baseball <laughs> pass. Um, so it looks like I probably have done this my whole life, yeah. but I haven't. I'm just, I'm just, I guess some people are just gifted, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting layups with Mark Price or Steve Kerr. That was good. No. How did he dunk? No, get him out of the paint. Man, Hot Rod Williams. Yeah, I need a timeout. You we do. Need on yeah, the floor. you do need a timeout. Yeah, Better have another God. drink I, of yeah, your yeah, uh, yeah. sugary drink yeah. there. Yeah. And, uh, and I should probably rub this lava lamp too. Maybe yeah. this will bring me. Good luck. I would do something oh, if I was hot. coaching your offense. Nope. Shot clock's running down. That's all right. Watch this. Buckets. <laughs> I blocked you. Get that stuff out of here. Larry Hughes, baby. Lockdown defense. That's what I needed. It's a big time block. Drew Gooden, ball in hand, into the locker room. Oh, thank God you didn't pass it to the wide open guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good coaching decision. All right. Phew. All right. Um, mom's making pizza rolls. Yeah, let's That's go. Let's go make show. some pizza rolls. So, so mom's not here, um, obviously. So, she. I don't know if she likes me to use the stove when she's gone. So, I guess we're just gonna put them in here and eat. You good? what we needed right here. That was look delicious. That's look delicious. They... Yes. All right, you ready, Jake? We're back in yeah, action. I'm, I'm ready. We got the, the, we got the, right, we got the, the pizza rolls, rolls, the Totinos, yeah, pizza yeah, we're rolls. We're ready to rock and roll we're ready. Now. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's, okay. see what, let's see what your team's got while we talk about your real team. Um, so there were a lot of girls who sat out last year due to red shirt or yeah. injury, what have you. Um, how will they be intermixed with the returners and, and such? Well, I mean, I think we got four kids that had a really valuable last year, although they had no stats for us. But, you know, Katie Barker um, sat out. Uh, she had a great year for us the year before, recovering from some injury. And then, you know, obviously to have her back provides a shooting presence. Um, Caitlin Kroll, again, battled a little bit of an injury. Uh, newcomer of the year in the NEC, uh, able to practice with us all year. Uh, so having her back and in the mix and is a big help for us. And then we had two freshmen last year that redshirted for us, and Abby and Sasha. Um, you know, unfortunately, again, about a little bit of injury, but they're back 100% healthy. And you know, all four of those young ladies spent the year practicing and um, you know learning the offense and being around the team. And you know, I think they're all poised to make an impact in what we do. How does that help? I mean, being around the team, getting to know them. Well, it's just tremendous. You know, the, the way we run offense, it's it's a little bit unique, um, and and so just being in it as often as you can, and being being in practices and things of that sort helps immensely. And the returners, is there any way that they can, that they've elevated their game? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're only getting I better. I think I think they've all gotten better. You know, I, I thought uh, I thought Hunter and Deesh had a tremendous summer. You know, they came in and. Um, both were better, uh, and that's important, um, you know. And then along with as you as you, as you go through the list, and, and you know, you think about Erica was a freshman of the year, and you know, sometimes that goes to your head, and you think you don't have to work, but that certainly wasn't the case. You know, she's definitely better than she was when she left. Uh, Amani Burke shooting the ball as, as well as she's ever shot it, and and that kind of determines how good she's going to be. The better she shoots it, the the more success she has in opening up the floor for other things. Um, you know, CeCe's had a good preseason. Uh, shot looks tremendous, right? And as another kid, that the better she shoots it, the easier the game is for her. Um, you know, and then Gabby continues to add things to her game. And, you know, like I said last year, Gabby's tough. It's tough for her because she's so good at so many things. There's not one spot that she needs to do better. And, and she does an excellent job of elevating her game across the board. 
Steve Kerr just keeps breaking my heart. He did it when he played for us. He did it when he coaches against us. Like he just, he just keeps breaking my heart. Look at that. That's what we need. You're the, you're the best 2K player I've ever seen. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You, you, I don't think you watch a lot of esports, son. This is the first game I've ever seen. That's good. But you're yeah, the let's best. Keep, let's keep yeah. it that way. You're the best I've ever seen. Bob Wilson and the company will be back in action uh, for the 2019-2020 season soon. So, Coach, once again, thank you for the time. Absolutely. Congratulations, slow. young thank man. You. Thank you. I, Jersey I, looks good on you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think I may uh, walk around campus. Yeah, keep that. You, you've earned it. <laughs> From Athens with Love, this is Bob Wilson. I'm Jake Kermada. This is Bobcat TV.